Okay, <clears throat> so some of you have reached out about how to use my param provider patch that I shared yesterday. One of the quickest and funnest ways to use it is to just drop it into a Max for Live device. Because of the way that it's set up, it automatically grabs all of the live.ui objects and allows you to modulate them, deviate them straight away. So let's take a quick look at how to set that up. You can use any Max for Live device. So I've got this Stretta Thick Synth. Uh, I'm gonna use this. Uh, you may need to unfreeze your Max for Live device. So this here would be the first step. You can leave it in patching mode and all you need to do is open up the patch that I shared, this one, the patch that I shared yesterday, and you're going to select this here, all of this, the JS object, the deviation message, the center values message, and the number box, and the bang, trigger object. Select this, copy it, and now you can just go back to here, back to your Max for Live device in edit mode, uh, make sure it's unlocked, and then just paste it in. And there it is. It's automatically in presentation mode, all of this. We don't need the JS object here to be in presentation mode, so right click on that, remove from presentation. Uh, let's put it into the live device view so that we can see all of this when we close the Max for Live device. And we need to change the device width so that we can see this when we save it and close it. Now there's one very important step for this because for this to work, it needs to have access to the JavaScript file. So click this icon here, show containing project. And it brings up this window here. Never mind this window. Uh, it brings up this window here and you'll see the name of the Max for Live device. Go back to the folder uh, that I shared with everyone yesterday, click inside of that and find the folder that says code. And you need to grab this tmh underscore param underscore provider dot js file. Drag that into the project window pane. That means now that this JavaScript file is included with your Max for Live device. To make sure that it is 100% included, click on the freeze icon here, and that turns blue. Now save it, and we can close it. Now we're back inside of Live, and you can see that this here is correct and has been added correctly. Let's start playing some sounds. You can change the settings here. Uh, basically set the center point of which you want to deviate around. So let's set that center values. Just click it and then set the deviation amount. Let's go with something low first, like five. So we'll be deviating five above whatever the center value of our UI parameter is and five below each time we trigger this. And you can hear we're already getting completely different sounds to how it was sounding before. You can get extreme And you can go into the negative if you want to actually go like in, in reverse of what the center value was. So that's going to be pretty quiet in this case, depending on your setting, uh, depending on your original center value. So great quick way to add 
uh, controlled uh, deviation or very small amounts of uh, randomization to any parameter. One note, this does work with Max's UI objects. You just need to make sure that parameter mode enabled is on and it just works with all, all live UI objects from the beginning. Uh, and don't forget, make sure that that JavaScript file is in the file path for the object. So the easiest way is to include it as part of the project. Thanks for listening. Have fun.